There's no other way to say it. We're about to simplify variable expressions using properties. All right, here we go. Five plus X plus nine. What are the properties we can use? Well, we could use the commutativity, commutativity of addition, which is just, we can change this to X plus five. This is all, I'm just going through it once slowly so that don't stress so much about this. You have to remember the words. So X plus five plus nine, and then we could use associativity of addition and move the parentheses to the second. So we could say X plus five plus nine, which is just X plus 14. Or you could just be like, hey, we're adding things together. It's five plus X plus nine. And just feel good about five plus X plus nine. And say, ease it up to 14. You've got an X left over. So 14 plus X. Okay. So again, commutativity of addition gives us X plus five. That means we can swap. We can also use associativity to move the parentheses over, which means we can group however we want when we're adding. We get X plus 15. Or 15 plus X. All right. Same thing by associativity. If we group differently is seven plus nine plus X. So that's 16 plus X. This is 16. Okay, here again, we can do associativity and we can group the threes together. So that just gives us six plus X, but that's the same thing as this. Okay, now we're going to distribute the six into both. Okay, so that's another rule. When you're multiplying something outside of parentheses by a sum, you can move that something into both, right? So it's six times eight plus six times 3x, but that's 48 plus 18x. If this is hard for you, don't worry whatsoever. It was hard for me once too. All you have to do is just relax and do it like 3,000 times and just enjoy it. Three times six, three times 10 X. So you get three times six plus three times 10 X. This gives you 18 plus 30 X. And it's way more fun to try it on your own first, right? Because there was a study that said watching people do math actually causes people physical pain. So you're better off just doing it on your own. I guess I shouldn't say that on these videos, but 18 plus 30 X, but not when you're trying to check your work, right guys, you're, you've already done it and you want to see if you're right. And that's why it's great to watch videos. Okay, so we have eight times 10, eight times nine X. So we have 10 times eight plus nine X times eight. So this is 80 plus 
we can put the 9 and the 8 together because it's a times. So that's 72x. So 80 plus 72x. Okay, this is just, there's also associativity of multiplication, but you don't need to know these names so much, just kind of know how to use them. You'll eventually know the names if you want. Most people don't want to though. Eight times nine is 72, and I don't blame them. So it's 72x. So this is six times seven, six times 10x. So we get six times seven plus six times 10x. This gives us 42 plus 60x, which is not 42x plus 60x, tricky, one of these tricksters. 42 plus 60x. And here's a good old one. This is just three times eight times x. So this equals 24x. Okay, so 24x. You might say, well, when would we ever use this? You actually use this stuff all the time if you're doing mental math. Let me just give you an example. I'll just do this one quick, right? That's six plus eight, 14. All right, we'll just put the parentheses here, get rid of these. So it's 14 plus x. We'll, we'll answer that at the end to end on a good note. But when would you use this? Suppose someone asks you what 99 times 100 is. Well, let's say 99 plus, yeah. Let's go 99 times 101. Someone's like, how do you do that? Well, in your head, you can say, you know what? This is 99 times 100 plus 1, right? And then you could say, oh, that's not so bad. I can say that's 99 times 100 plus 99 times 1. You don't have to write this all out. You're kind of eventually going to, you know, you're, you guys are so young. Eventually, you'll just do this stuff in your head, right? So what will this give you, right? It'll give you 99 times 100, so that's 9,900 plus 99, which gives you 9,999, right? So, you know, if someone's like, hey, what's 99 times 101? And you don't kind of, you don't want to have to think it through, you can... You're using these properties without even really knowing you're using them if you're doing tricks, right? So every time there's one of those like math games or tricks or, or like riddles where the magician asks you to start with a number and do all this bunch of stuff, there's some, there's some sort of like formula underneath it that's, that's giving you some secret trick. Maybe I can give you an example of that in one of these lessons. But in the meantime, try not to... Try not to be too curious about that. I know it's exciting. All right, guys. See you soon.